There was a time when comic book movies were seen as a joke or a poison chalice to an actor's career. Not anymore. These days, the comic book movie genre is one of the most popular in Hollywood. Heck, five of the 20 highest grossing movies of all time are comic book movies, and popular talented actors appearing in the genre is the norm. But not every actor has yet been given the chance to play a live action superhero. Many of those unfortunate souls have expressed a public interest in playing a specific one, however, and that's what this video is about. Watch it, enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to regularly see more like it. Yeah, let's go. Here are 10 popular actors who want to be a Marvel or DC superhero. And before we start, can you guess this movie from these emojis? Stay tuned for the answer at the end of our video. Let's ride. Norman Reedus. The Walking Dead's Daryl Dixon, aka Norman Reedus, is one of the coolest actors on television at the moment, so it would be awesome to see him playing a superhero. Thankfully, the former model has expressed an interest in playing Ghost Rider on the big screen. He rides a motorcycle on The Walking Dead, and explores motorcycle culture in his Ride with Norman Reedus show. When he was asked if he'd like to play Ghost Rider in a movie reboot, Reedus replied enthusiastically by saying, Hell yeah, it would be a blast. Do I get a skull face that's on fire and all that stuff? F yeah, I'm down. After all, who gets kissed by Spider-Man, right? <laughs> Bryce Dallas Howard. Bryce Dallas Howard, who has of course already appeared in a superhero movie when she portrayed Gwen Stacy in 2007's Spider-Man 3, expressed an interest in a certain titular Marvel Cinematic Universe role prior to it being given to someone else. They what? That role was Captain Marvel, who will now be played by Brie Larson, of course. When asked if she would be interested in the role at a Jurassic World press day, Howard replied, Oh my god, will you write that? Will you write that, please? Yes, let's start a campaign now. That would be rad. Maybe she'll get her chance to play a different Marvel heroine in the future. I meant like I won't fight back. You couldn't last 30 seconds with me if your life depended on it. Ronda Rousey. Someone with, let's say, a little less acting talent than Bryce Dallas Howard also wanted to be Captain Marvel in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and that person was Ronda Rousey. The former UFC champion first shared her interest in the part during a Reddit AMA, then posted some fan art of herself as the character on her Instagram account. As previously stated, the role ultimately went to Brie Larson, even though Marvel Studios head honcho Kevin Feige actually championed Rousey for the role. But given that her MMA career looks to be over, Rousey will probably turn to acting on a more full-time basis, so maybe another opportunity in the comic book genre will emerge for her in the coming years. What is it you need? Time, Professor, as much as you can get me. Daniel Radcliffe. Having played Harry Potter for 10 years, Daniel Radcliffe certainly knows what it's like to play a heroic character, but there's no way anyone could describe Potter as a superhero. I realize there's not much to go on. With that in mind, it's no surprise that the young actor wants to jump on the comic book movie bandwagon. Back in 2014, prior to Batman's first appearance in the DC Extended Universe, Radcliffe was asked which other big movie franchise he'd like to appear in. His response? Batman. If they reboot that again, I'll do that too. It's happening, isn't it? With Ben Affleck? I could be Robin. I'm perfect. You can be way more. Ryan Potter. From one Potter to another now, but this time it's Ryan Potter, the actor and martial artist who is perhaps best known for providing the voice of another superhero, Hiro Hamada in Big Hero 6. Coincidentally, this Potter also wants to portray Batman's sidekick, Robin. This is why Superman works alone. But his casting would come with a twist. Potter's father is Japanese, so casting him as Robin would have to see a change in the traditional white ethnicity associated with the character. He wants to play the character so badly that he made an audition video for Ben Affleck to show him exactly what he can offer, a level of enthusiasm that suggests the ethnicity issue should be completely overlooked. Holy coincidence, Batman! Any room for a plucky sidekick? Anna Kendrick. Being Batman's sidekick seems to be a popular choice for actors, and not just actors of the male variety, as Pitch Perfect star Anna Kendrick also humorously stated she'd like to play Robin. While sat next to Ben Affleck, participating in a comedic MTV interview slash sketch about their movie The Accountant, Kendrick made her pitch for the role. The actress suddenly appeared dressed in a Hamburglar costume with an R on the front, having announced that she had a hole in her schedule that could be filled with a superhero flick. Hey, well, I could be Batman. On a more serious note, there actually has been a genuine push for Kendrick to play the character, not least by Deathstroke himself, Joe Manganiello. But this right here, my friend, happens to be 
the stupidest idea I've ever heard of in my life. Uh, Tyrese Gibson. You'd think that the terrible reception to 2011's Green Lantern movie would've put actors off appearing as Green Lanterns in future DC offerings, but that's actually not the case at all. In fact, Fast and Furious star Tyrese Gibson has been campaigning quite actively for the role, to the extent that he earned himself some meetings to discuss the possibility of playing Jon Stewart. <laughs> See, now we talk. A snippet from one of the many quotes Gibson has said on the matter is as follows. I've already had a couple of meetings at Warner Bros, so we'll see what happens. I do believe that there needs to be more black superheroes out there, but that's not even my motivation. I think I would be the best Green Lantern. I already know exactly where I'm going. Keanu Reeves. Okay, now some people might say that Keanu Reeves has already played a superhero, but the fact is, John Constantine is the epitome of an anti-hero. Reeves has, however, stated that there are some more well-known heroic characters that he'd like to play, those being Batman and Wolverine. Check the scrolls anyway, see if there's any precedent. Within a few moments of the same discussion, Reeves said, I always wanted to play Wolverine, but I didn't get that, and they have a great Wolverine now. He also said, I always wanted to play the Dark Knight, but I didn't get that one. They've had some great Batmans, so now I'm just enjoying them as an audience. Make up your mind, Keanu. I've got some pretty big news. Derek Theller. The least known actor on this list is Derek Theller. The star of TV's Baby Daddy is a huge superhero fan, and actually auditioned for the role of Captain America in the Marvel Cinematic Universe back in 2009. And he's also said he'd like to play Thor. But now he's campaigning to play a DC character, a certain Shazam. I just don't know what I should do. He frequently shares fan art of himself playing Shazam on social media, and often captions the images with how it's his dream to play the character, as well as with compliments directed towards The Rock, who is, of course, playing Black Adam in the DC Extended Universe. Hey. Megan Fox. Believe it or not, Megan Fox is something of a comic book aficionado, and is very keen to play a superhero on screen, specifically one from quite an obscure title, DC's Gen 13. Fox said, There's a comic book called Gen 13 that they need to make into a movie. There are three female ass-kicking superheroes. That's an opportunity to put three super hot, awesome, badass girls in a movie, and I imagine it would be so lucrative. However, Fox wasn't even remotely interested in playing Wonder Woman in the DC Extended Universe, a role that's now being played by Gal Gadot. In fact, she totally dissed the character and the idea of playing her, saying Wonder Woman is a lame superhero. What? She flies around in her invisible jet and her weaponry is a lasso that makes you tell the truth. I just don't get it. Somebody has a big challenge on their hands, whoever takes that role, but I don't want to do it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about your eye. Thanks for watching our video about 10 popular actors who want to be a Marvel or DC superhero. Can you think of any other actors who'd love to star in Marvel or DC movies? And the answer to the movie emoji is... Did you get the right answer? Have your say in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this one.